We can use the sine rule to work out a missing length or an angle in a non-right-angled triangle. If we've got a, if we've got a right-angled triangle, we use Pythagoras or Sokotoa. This is a non-right-angled triangle, and we use the sine rule when we've got opposites. So when we've got an angle and its opposite length, and another angle and its opposite length. So whenever we've got opposites, that's when we use the sine rule. So we can use it to work out any of these four um, angles or lengths. So we can work out either of these two lengths or either of these two angles using the sine rule. We use these two different formulas. So we've got A over sine A equals B over sine B. We use this one if we're working out a length because we want the lengths to be on top. It makes it easier to rearrange. If we're working out an angle, we use sine A over A equals sine B over B. And again, it's easier to rearrange if we've got the thing we're working out on the top. So we'll have a look at an example and we'll have a, see how we do this. So the question says, find the length of BC. So that's this one here. We'll call it X. Now, to check we can use the sine rule, we see if we've got opposites. So this one's opposite this one, and this one is opposite this one. So that means we can use the sine rule. And we want to work out a length, so we're going to use the formula for lengths. So we're going to use A over sine A equals B over sine B. And then we just need to figure out what's what. So we want this here to be our little a. That's going to go on top. And the one opposite would be big A. Then we want the other length to be our little b. And the angle opposite it to be big B. And then we're going to substitute these into this formula. So A is x over sine 40 equals b, which is 10, over sine big B, which is 110. So to solve it, we need to get x by itself. At the moment, we've got x divided by sine 40. So to get rid of sine 40, we have to times by it. So x will be 10 over sine 110 times sine 40. And then that is what we can type in the calculator. So we can type this into the calculator and it'll tell us the answer. So we type it exactly how it looks into the calculator. And let's do out the three significant figures here. So we're going to have x is 6.84, 6.84, and that is in meters. Okay, let's look at another example. So find the length AB. We're going to call it X. So write X here. Have we got opposites? That one's opposite that one. And that one's opposite that one. So we do. So we can use the sine rule. We're working at a length. So we're going to use A over sine A equals B over sine B. And we're going to have X as our little a, and then this will be our big A, the one opposite it, then the other length will be little b, and its opposite will be big B, and then we'll substitute them into the formula, so A, which is now x, over sine big A, which is 36, equals our other length, 7, over sine big B, 44. Again, we want to get rid of this sine 36, and we do that by times in. So x is 7 over sine 44 times sine 36. And again, that's what we type in the calculator, and it tells us the answer. So 7 over sine 44 times sine 36, and to three significant figures, that's 5.9. Two again in meters. 
Okay, this time we're looking at an angle. So the angle BAC, BAC, it's this one here. So that's now X. We're working at an angle, so we're going to use, well, let's, let's actually check first. We've got opposites. X is opposite 9, and this 37 is opposite 11. So we can use the sine rule. And we're going to use the sine rule for angles this time. So sine A is on top over little a equals sine big B over little b. So this angle here at X, that's going to be our big A. So that's big A. That's opposite little a. The other angle is going to be our big B. And that's opposite little b. And we substitute those numbers in. So we've got sine x over its opposite 9 equals sine 37 over its opposite, which is 11. Now we're going to get a sine x by itself by times in by 9. So we'll get sine x is sine 37 over 11 times 9. Then we can type that in the calculator. So we type this into the calculator and we get an answer out which is sine x and that'll be a small decimal between, between minus 1 and plus 1 because it's a, a sine um, and then we have to do shift sign that answer. So whatever we get out for this we shift sign it to get x by itself. So once we do the shift sign, we've got an answer to three significant figures of 29.5 degrees. So we type that in the calculator first, and then shift sign, and it gives us 29.5. And one more example of this. So we've got ACB this time, ACB, that's X. Have we got opposites? X is opposite 15. 24 is opposite 92. That means, yes, we can use the sign rule. We're working at angle, so the angles go on top. Sign B over B. Okay, we're going to have X as big A, 15 as little a, and 92 as big B, 24 as little b. So that gives us sign X over 15 equals sine big B 92 over 24. To get sine x by itself, we're going to times by 15. So it gives us sine 92 over 24 times 15. We type that in the calculator, get our answer out, and then we shift sign that to get x by itself. So we shift sign that answer which gives us x is 38.7, 38.7 to three significant figures again. Okay, here's two for you to try. So see if you can work out the missing length and the missing angle for these questions. Okay, this first one here, the length of AB. So this is X here. Have we got opposites? X is opposite 40 and 16 is opposite 101. So that means we can use the sine rule and we're working at a length. So we're going to go A over sine A equals B over sine B. We're going to have X as our little a and we'll have 40 is opposite as big A, we'll have 16 as little b, and it's opposite 101 as big B. So we'll substitute them in. So we've got x over sine 40 equals 16 over sine 101. And then to get x by itself, we times by sine 40. So 16 over sine 101 times sine 40 and we type that in the calculator 16 over sine 101 times sine 40 to three significant figures that's 
and it's in meters this time. Okay, and then we look at this one here. So we need to find the sides of angle BAC, BAC. So that's X. We've got opposites there and there. So we're using the sine rule. And we've got, we're going to use sine A over A equals sine B over B because we're finding an angle. So we've got sine, well, we're going to have a, big A, little a, big B, little b. So we've got sine x over 13 equals sine 32 over 9. We're going to get sine x by itself first, which would be sine 32 over 9 times 13. We type that in the calculator, and then we're going to shift sign the answer. And then that gives us 49.9 to three significant figures. 49.9 degrees, again, to three significant figures.